Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup look inspired by pumpkins. So it is a fall, it is Halloween a month, that is October and everybody's talking about, you know, pumpkin spice, Halloween this, Halloween that. Again, pumpkin spice this, pumpkin this, pumpkin that. So that really kind of inspired me to like, okay, instead of complaining about everybody talking about pumpkins all the time, let's just do a tutorial inspired by it. So yeah guys, without me rambling any further let's go ahead and get into this tutorial so as you guys can tell I already have my makeup base brows on I will leave links up and through here uh, showing you if you're curious about how I do my brows and also if you want to know what face routine that I did for this look today I will leave that linked as well and also I did uh, prime my lids already so what I prime my lids with is the MAC 24 hour extended eye base a primer really 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 good for showing the true color of eyeshadows as well as if you have any lines or anything like that in your eye area it'll definitely kind of like fill those in almost like a pore filling type of texture to it so it definitely helps with that all right so now that I have you guys all zoomed up close let's go ahead and lay down our transition shades so I'm going to be going into the shade brown and that is going to be our transition shade for this look. So I'm just gonna place the color brown in the box of crayons palette into my crease. And I'm using a MAC 224 brush. I don't know if MAC still has this brush, but a good alternative for this brush is the Morphe M441 brush. It's also a really, really good brush to kind of do like blown out crease colors or transition colors, I should say. All right, so now I'm gonna use an e.l.f. like dome, almost fat pencil brush, kind of, it looks like this. I'm gonna go into that same brown shade and I'm going to drag that on my lower lash line. Now typically I don't bring my lower lash line colors all the way through on my under eye because I don't want my eyes to look smaller. But since we are going to make this a little bit more of a kind of like dramatic style look because I do plan on doing a cut crease by it with this. We just kind of want to go all the way with it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some more of that brown and I've decided that I just want to put a little bit of it on the corner, the outer V of my eye just so that when I put my deeper shade on and then do the cut crease and all that, it'll just be easier to, just to kind of like blend everything together. So now I'm gonna take a Morphe M433 brush, looks like this is like a nice flat kind of blending brush and I'm gonna go into the shade black right here and I'm going to take that and focus this color on the outer V and a little bit lower than what I have that crease color as, or the brown shade I should say. And so we're really, really getting into that quote unquote kind of smoky, spooky vibes by adding that black and the black is gonna add some more definition to the eye. So this part of my eye looks more sunken back to make sure that it looks like I have a lot more eye space than I actually have. All right, and just to soften this black color out, I'm going to take some of the brown shadow that's left on the blending brush that I used earlier and really just softening the edges of that black so it's not as harsh. And I'm taking it all the way through so the black kind of naturally just blends in in this area. All right, so now that we have all of our ground work done, all of the basics done, we're gonna go ahead and cut the crease. So what I'm gonna use to cut my crease is actually something very, very orange, and that is this right here. So this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Orange Corrector. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on the back of my hand. And just so you guys can see how orange it looks, this is how orange it is. It's a nice, very, 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 very orange color corrector. So if you're in the market for a decent color corrector, 
this is definitely, definitely pretty good. It's only, what, two, two ninety nine to five ninety nine, depending on where you get it from. But to cut my crease, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. If you have eyes like mine, which are very, very, very hooded. All right, using a Morphe 421 brush, an M421 brush, I'm just gonna take some of that orange corrector and I'm going to first place that where I need it. And we're not gonna be doing a full cut crease. We're gonna be doing a half cut crease type of situation. So all you're gonna do is literally just open up your eyes and look for it. And that is where your guide for your cut crease is going to be. So you don't wanna go past this line right here, that mark I should say. So for all of you guys who have like hooded eyes or just difficulty doing cut creases in general, just literally just place it where you want to, right here, like on the center of the lid, however you're doing the cut crease, and literally just open your eyes and like completely open your eyes and then close and then there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna carve that cut crease out. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the color orange in the box of crayons palette, and I'm just going to press that right over the orange that I put down as concealer. So now that I have this beautiful orange color laid down, now I'm just gonna go back in and those transition shades, I'm just going to blend that in so that these two can kind of like marry with each other with that orange. So let's go back in and do some blending. Now I'm gonna take one of my favorite eyeliners. This is the RK by KISS 24 Hour Eye Define Eyeliner. I'm gonna take this eyeliner and I'm just going to run it along my waterline. All right guys, so I am back and I have lashes on. The lashes that I have on are the Ardell Wispies as usual. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the face. For highlight, I'm going to be going in with this guy. This is the Hello Gregory Highlight in Hello Bronze. So for lips, I'm going to be applying the NYX Lip Liner in Cold Brew. Very, very appropriate for this look. Love a nice cold brew coffee, minus the pumpkin spice, but we're including the pumpkin spice today. So now for the rest of the lips, I'm gonna be filling it in with a mixture of three different products. I'm gonna be going in with the Morphe Liquid Lipstick. This is the old formula, the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the color Peanut. And then I'm gonna be going in with the shade Doll from the Kylie Cosmetics in Love with the Cocoa line, just to add that orange hue to it. And then finally, I'm going to be sprinkling in a little bit of this loose pigment from MAC, and it is the Copper Sparkle Loose Pigment. All right, so to be honest, I'm not really feeling this orange of a color with this eye. Like, I feel like it just kind of throws it off a little bit. I'm not mad at it, but I'm not loving it either. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of a brown lip gloss. This is the Minted Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Baby Brown. And so let's kind of see if I can kind of brown this a little bit more. So that definitely kind of toned it down a little bit. It's not as much of a bright orange, just more so kind of like a toned down kind of peachy, like bricky style orange, if that makes any sense at all. But you guys see the color on my lips and as far as descriptions of colors goes, you guys make that judgment for yourselves. But yeah guys, so this is pretty much the finished look. It was really, really simple, really, really easy. So sometimes that's what we need. Sometimes we need a really quick, 
easy makeup tutorial just to kind of lift our spirits up and get our creative juices flowing. And that definitely, definitely helped me out today just because I was in a funk and I really wanted my kind of creative makeup juices to flow. And yeah, this is what I came up with. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And yeah, I will catch you guys later in another video.